Today we have Blossom in studio here at 93.3 CFMU. Welcome guys. Thank you. Hi, thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Shall we start with a song? Sure. <clears throat> Want to start with Ecrasia? Yes, I was going to say the same. Okay. I'm Julia. I'm Jamie. And we're two fifths of Blossom. Awesome, awesome. So, how did the band come together? Um, it started off as Julia's solo music, um, where she released tons of solo music that was really good, and everyone who knew her and some of her friends' friends listened to it. And there was a mutual friend who had asked her to do a show, and she needed a backing up band. So, we played her music as her backing band mm -hmm. and then we just kept playing those songs and it slowly kind of morphed into like a group project into a, a band where we're all involved and then we had to come up with a name and be more of a band mm -hmm. so you guys have a new ep out thank god you're here how's that been it's been a process it started off before i even had my band together um it was just a collection of songs that i had written a couple years ago and um, I threw them together into an EP. And by the time they were done, I had already played a bunch of shows and like changed my artist name from my, my own name to Blossom. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been great. Were there any sort of themes or messages that you wanted to convey through this EP? So these songs were just kind of songs that I would write kind of about what's been going on in my life at that time. Not very explicitly, but just kind of more abstractly. So they kind of serve as like a, a bit of a journal to my experiences at that during that time period. 
I guess you could say. But they don't really have any like concrete meaning or like message. So would you say that this is sort of like more of a collection of songs rather than a story or what would you say? Yeah, I'd definitely say it's more of a collection of songs. Um, to me, at least, it seems like there are different songs with different vibes in the EP, EP and it's not just like one collective, um, I don't know, it's not just like one thing, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. So what about the process of producing the music? Do you, do you have any, do you have anything that you learned along the way when you were doing that? Um, definitely something I've learned, if you could even call it something I've learned, is that it's a lot harder to produce things with distorted guitars than it is with acoustic or clean guitars. It's much more challenging, so um, I'm not really confident in my mixing abilities, but... <laughs> I mean, it sounded great. The album sounded great to me. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's... Easy. The only reason I released it was because I spent like over a year sitting on these songs and trying to make them like get them to a point where I'm not cringing too hard at them. Um, but I'm still learning, definitely. No, I think definitely pulled it off really well. Thanks. And the EP, even though it is a collection of songs, it really sounds cohesive, at least to me. I'm not sure about anyone else, but I just really loved how soft it sounds. But then you kind of have some places where it isn't, and I don't know, I, I just really loved it. So uh, would you two say that you have any big m musical influences? Um, I would say like a lot of the things I've been playing recently, I've been listening to a lot of like Pinback or Blonde Redhead. So I feel like it comes through in a lot of my playing, especially a lot of like the phrasing there. Yeah, it's the big two for me right now. I'm on board with that too. I'm a huge fan of those as well. I'd also say um, for a really long time, I've been into like bands like Duster and that kind of genre, as well as Elliot Smith type artists. Yeah. So, yeah. And would you say that these influence the music that you make or is that completely separate? Yeah, I'd say to a degree, maybe not consciously because I'm not trying to think like, oh, I want to write a song that sounds like something this person would write. But definitely whatever I write at the moment uh, kind of sounds like what I'm listening to at the moment. So there's that. That makes sense, yeah. I've also been listening to Blonde Redhead recently, their mm -hmm. new album as well. So I also just want to talk about kind of what it looks like to see Blossom live. So how would you say your music translates live? I think it's a lot noisier live. It's a lot more, um, like it's still, it has the soft vibes and like a little bit evil at times. But we have one of the members of the band, Ada, is like, noise person i don't know when people ask what instrument she plays i don't know what to say she has this like silver suitcase that's full of mainly deconstructed children's toys and like other gizmos and gadgets she's put together she's like an electronic wizard so she just makes noise and adds that and it complements all the music as well as um myself julia and grace our bassist have like pedals that we'll play with to make it a lot noisier live mm -hmm. yeah we also gaze at our shoes a lot. We also gaze at the we, shoes. We're not fans of looking at the audience and I'm not a fan of talking to the audience so um, although I sing because I have to I don't say a word because I don't like to do that on stage. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the energy like when you're alive? Um, that's a great question. I think it varies. Yeah. It varies pretty greatly dependent on where we're playing and who we're playing with. That if it is like a softer, um, more kind of chill environment with softer bands, then the energy of like our performance and the audience while watching us will kind of match that. So it's like more cohesive versus we're playing with like heavier bands. The set just sounds heavier and people get more into it and more actively watching, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it varies pretty greatly. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Do you have any upcoming shows? Yeah, yeah, semi-upcoming. A little bit uh, upcoming enough, soon enough that we know about them, but a little too distant that, distant that I forget the exact date and stuff. We have one coming up December 3rd. Okay. Okay. 
in Hamilton, and that's going to be at, is that the Casbah one? I think it's at the Casbah. Yeah, sounds and right. And then on the 22nd, we have another uh, show in Hamilton at Vertigogo. Okay. And, yeah, really cool bands on the bills for both of them. And we, like, will announce the shows through Instagram and all future shows yes. on our Instagram. Awesome. At Blossom Band. Yeah. Blossom. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, ominously. <laughs> Blossom. So what would you say has been the most memorable moments of uh, your music careers, maybe individually, but also as a band? I feel like the first show we did is up there because it was the first one and we were playing at like a very legit place, like at a record label opening for, as far as like local bands go, like a larger band. And it was just immediately we're like thrown into the depths, like, you know, free alcohol, canned water for free, crazy green room. And yeah. we're like, oh my, oh my gosh, what's going on? And like looking back, I think we did three songs that show or something. Like it was a ridiculously short set, but at the time it felt like a huge, like, whoa, this is, this is crazy. Yeah, we definitely felt like imposters there. Yeah. And after we played our set, um, one of the people was like, was that it? That was, <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah we, we, we had like two weeks notice. <laughs> and then more recently, we did a show at Into the Abyss in Hamilton with a bunch of bands that we're huge fans of. So it was cool to like play with people that like, oh, we love this music and we're friends with everyone there. Mm -hmm. So it was like, we knew about it for a long time as well. So it was like really building up to it, it had a huge turnout, great sound. Yeah, and we had seen a bunch of bands that we love playing there, so it's a venue that we really like, and we were so happy to play there. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely have to go to your next show. <laughs> and I guess last thing is, do you have any advice for any aspiring musicians out there? Maybe just to just do it. Like it's e easier to than you think to like get started. Yeah, uh, locally, book shows and then play shows and play then... shows. And just like have fun with it. The local scene is very supportive. So yeah. just getting out there, you'll like find people that will be your friends and help you out and it's fun. So just do it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you for coming in today. Of thank course. You. This has been Blossom live in studio with 93.3 CFMU. Shall we end it off with another song? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Awesome.